Hey, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Uh, hopefully you watched the last video. We talked about uh, setting timing and kind of the timing events and how that, uh, how that affects everything. So today we're going to move to carburetor tuning, which I got some uh, tuning to do on this carburetor. Uh, it's kind of set baseline right now. It's uh, running pretty good, but uh, I want to, like I said in the last video, you know, I'm trying to tune this thing to peak performance. So we're going to work on it today and I'm going to show you kind of the uh, baseline idle mixture tuning and uh on this thermoquad and then we're going to get into uh some other some other details but we're going to start with uh setting the baseline tuning thank you for watching i hope you enjoy So I got the camera set up and I'm going to try to do this to where you can see everything. I got the tripod back out again and uh, we're going to tune this with the vacuum gauge. Uh, so it's been running a little rich, uh, especially idle is extremely rich. So uh, I pulled the plugs last week and uh, I could see where the plugs were sooty. So we're going to try to lean it out some. I don't want to lean it out too much because that will cause uh, other issues, uh, pre-ignition, uh, detonation and uh just bad performance so we don't want to lean out too much uh it's a air on the side of caution because it's a lot a lot better to have or not i'll say better but it's safer to have one rich than it is too lean uh rich is bad in some you know since it stinks and you smoke your clothes always smell like fuel uh it's bad on your plugs but whenever it's lean it can cause a uh, pre-ignition and uh, detonation same thing and uh it's just not healthy on the engine at all to run one lean. So we're going to try to get this one set up uh, with the vacuum gauge. And uh, so let's get started on it. I'm going to try my best to get this thing to where you can see what I'm doing. So let's zoom in first. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I've already got these, turn, uh, these are your idle mixture screws. I'm turn, I turned them all the way in until it stopped. You don't wanna go past the bottom, you damage the seats, but turn them in until they stop. I've already got my vacuum gauge hooked up to manifold vacuum. Uh, if you remember, in the last video, I was up here around uh, 50, between uh, 45 and 50, I was somewhere in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back these out about a, a turn and a half and then we're going to back it out and we're going to watch uh i actually need to get my time light back out so i can watch the rpms but uh we're going to watch the rpms climb until they reach the max rpm and the max uh vacuum and then after that we'll kind of uh tweak it a little bit um, I like to leave mine a little bit on the fat side just because, like I said before, I'd rather run it a little bit rich and a little bit lean. But uh, it was a little bit too rich before. The, I counted the turns going in. They were about three and a half, maybe three and a quarter turns out. So it was it was pretty pretty rich. But uh, let me get my time light hooked up so just so we can watch the, uh, the idle. We're not going to mess with the timing in this video, but uh, my time light has a RPM tack on it. So... I'm just going to use it to watch the idle. Alright, so we're going to go a turn and a half out on each side. I've already warmed the engine up. So that's a half, that's one, and that's a half. That's a half, that's one, and that's a half. All right, let's see if it'll start. Oh, 
Alright, so you can hear it's running really rough. I don't have any hardly any vacuum at all. It's running pretty pretty bad. So we're gonna turn these screws out a little bit at a time. So it looks like it's going to run the best about where it was at. It's about three and a half turns. Uh, I turned it all the way back in. We're going to try it again. I got out to about three and a half turns and the idle reached its peak. Uh, anything past that, it never changed. And uh, the vacuum never really changed either. So uh, I don't think it's, I think about where it's at is about where it needs to be. All right, so we're going to do it again. Uh, this time I got to set two turns out instead of one and a half. And uh, I lost track of my turn, so I figured I'd start over. I try to try to turn these things together and keep them as even as possible. All right, let me start back up. Okay, so right now it's set with the vacuum at its max point. And now I'm gonna tight, tighten the screws back in just until I hear it change a little bit. And that's gonna be my set point. So I got it all set. I just turned it out until I got the max uh, vacuum with the best RPM. And then I turned it back in until I heard it down just to idle just enough. And that's just gonna lean it out just enough to where it's not so rich. Uh, it's not quite as out as far as it was, but I still got really good vacuum. I turned my idle up just a little bit. This is in drive or in uh, park and I'll show you why.
It's now in drive. And I'm right at my 800 horsepower, or 800 horsepower. I wish I was 800 horsepower at idle. Uh, 800 RPMs at idle. So, I, now when I'm at a red light, instead of idling at 500 or 600, I'm bringing that idle up a little bit. Uh, it is idling. I might turn it down just a hair, because sitting in, in park, it's idling a little high. It was about, uh, I don't remember now. Go back on the video, you can see what it was. But uh, I turned it up just a hair. I might just back it off a little bit. Go back nine. Take about 50 RPMs out of it. Yeah, I'm about 10, 10 30. Yeah, 970, it looks pretty good to me. I'm still running good vacuum. While we got it hooked up, we'll go ahead and check our timing again. About 18, 19. Yeah, it's gonna wrap this one up we got the baseline tuning set uh for the idle mixtures and we'll go in more detail with the air flap and everything else in another video i appreciate you watching i hope you like it i hope it's uh, knowledgeable i hope it helps you out or educational or other but uh i'll see you next time thank you for watching